Hello everyone and welcome back to PA Academy. So this is the method 2, the second method I'm going to be taking you through on how to draw a dodecagon. So that is dodecagon. And that is a regular polygon with 12 sides. So 12 sides. So significantly one thing about it is that this video I'm going to be showing you how to draw a dodecagon when you are given the length of the side. So let's say you are asked to draw a 12 sided polygon with a side of 4 cm which is what you are going to be using in this video, 4 cm. How do you go about it? Now it's important to know that irrespective of the side that you are given, maybe 5 or less than 5 or more than 5 cm, it is still the same step, the same process you are going to use to draw a 12 sided polygon and that's what I'm going to be showing you in this video. Like I said, this is method 2. I've done one that's showing how to draw, how to go about it using another different method which I'll leave it, uh, uh, there's a link to that in the description of this particular video. That's the method 1. And I said I'm going to be showing three different methods. So this method 2 and method 3 is also going to be coming up. So with three different methods on how to go ahead to draw a regular dodecagon, I believe after watching all the three videos, you should be able to pick one that I believe uh, that you know you know very well and you are going to be very good in it and i would also like to know in the, in the description after watching the three i would like to know which one you think it is much more easier for you to to do all right so before we get into this video if you are new to pa academy or you are yet to subscribe to this channel pa academy please take out time to click on that subscribe button below it's absolutely free you won't be charged so just click on that subscribe button and the little bell icon beside the subscribe button so I'm just waiting for you to do that. It's absolutely free. Just click on it and the little bell icon. It helps the channel to grow, but it's also very free on your own part to do. All right. So thank you very much if you have just clicked on that subscribe button. All right. So to start with, I'm going to be drawing one side of the dodecagon. So I'm going to, like I said, you are using four centimeter. So let me do that four centimeter. So I make it bold. So another thing I would like to do is to extend it to the right and to the left with a faint line, with a faint line. So this is going to be point A and B. So let me indicate that this is 4 centimeter. So the next thing we are going to do is we are going to bring in our protractor and place it on. You can start from point A or point B, but I'll be starting from point B. So on point B, once I place my protractor on point B, I'll mark angle 30 degrees. So this is 30 degrees. So I haven't done that. The next thing I'm going to do is from point B to where I mark that 30 degrees. This is it. So I'll just draw a faint line. So on that line now I will measure the 4 centimeters. So from point B, so that will be 1, 2, 3, 4. So this is where my 4 centimeter is. So I can make that very bold. So this is where my point B is. So I can call this point point C. Now I'll bring back my protractor and place it on point C. So I place it on point C. Then I'll measure 30 degrees again. So from point C to where I have my 30 degree mark, draw a faint line like this and then I count my four centimeters so one two three four so like I said irrespective of the length that you have been given is still the same step now there's a reason why I'm extending it with a faint line which I'm going to talk about right now so that so let me call this this be point D so that by the time I place my protractor this this line that I extended with a faint line my protractor can really easily rest on it so that, that just to let me to show me or to let me know that yes my protractor is properly placed on any point I'm putting it so it makes it easy to place your protractor on any point so that is another 30 degree there So from point D to where I mark 30 degree, then I'll count 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 centimeter. So this is another 30. One, 
two, three, four. So we are going to repeat the same thing. So this is D. Let's call this point E, and then points point F. So now on point F. So on point F, thirty degrees. This is it. So also make sure that you check your angle properly, so that you don't go and mark a wrong angle. Because those are some of the common mistakes you that I find when doing something like this. When you mistakenly mark a wrong angle. So it will be 1, 2, 3, 4. So you can this is call it point G. So one point G, this is 30, 30 degrees. So let me mark the four centimeter points. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. So you can also continue like that or you come back to point A and you repeat the same thing. Remember we've been able to go like half of it. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So you can also put your protractor and then continue in this order or you come back to point A. So that I will come to point A now and repeat the same process. So from point A, but this time around, my 30 degree will not be in this way. I'll be looking at it clockwise direction. So this is the 30 degrees here. It will be one, two, three, four. So let me just call this, if this is H, let me just call this point I. So just for reference purpose. So from point I. So if you are finding value in this video, please click, uh, give it a thumbs up. Click on that click thumbs up button to like the video if you are finding value in it already and I also want you to watch the other parts of this video that is in method 1, method 2 and method 3 and let me know in the comment section which one you think it's more easier to do either the method 1, method 2 or method 3 I would like to know so this is point J from point J So from point J, so here I have my 30 degrees mark. So this is 4 centimeter. Also, I will leave a link in the description of this video. So if you are interested in getting some of these technical drawing, technical and engineering drawing tools, I'm going to leave a link in the description of this video, which you'll find in all of my videos under technical drawing. Out, you know, links that help you get some of these technical and engineering drawing tools. So my four centimeter. So since I am left with two sides, I will just measure my four centimeter. I don't need to extend it. So this is where the four centimeter is. Now we have one side left. So if I'm to measure the last side, it should be giving me four centimeter. So let me see. Okay, let me use this. So if I should measure it, it should be giving me four centimeter. So if you are measuring the last side, the last side and it's not giving you 4 cm, maybe it's giving you a figure less than 4 cm or 3.5, then that's to say that in the course of marking your angle, you, you didn't place your protractor properly or something, or maybe your protractor is not properly um, numbered or calibrated because I do see some tools like that, some technical drawing tools, they don't, um, the measurements are not always accurate. So this is J. Let's call it K and then let's call this F. 
end. So now with this, now we have our dodecagon with 12 sides. So if you keep measuring all the sides, you find out that they are all going to be giving you 4 centimeter. You can see. So this is this is another method to go about it if you are asked to draw a dodecagon. So either you are giving the side or not. Once you know the side of uh, that you want to work with, either it's 4 centimeter or not, if you follow this step, it's going to give you this result that we are having here. Just note that the angles that I'm using here is 30 degrees. 30 degrees here, 30 degrees here, like that, like that. So the method 3 on how to draw a dodecagon will be coming up immediately after this video, somewhere here. So it's going to be coming up somewhere here. So once you click on it, it will take you to the um, method 3 on how to draw a dodecagon. And if you miss the uh, step 1, just check the description of this video, you'll find the link. i also give, uh, put a link to other regular polygons. So if you're asked to draw other regular polygons, maybe pentagon, hexagon, heptagon, other regular polygon, you'll find the links in the description of, all the, of this video on how to go about it. So thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to this ch uh, channel, PE Academy. Also uh, feel free to share this video and also give it a thumbs up. And with that guys, I'll see you in the method 3. That is the part 3 of this video on how to draw a dodecagon. Thank you very much.